Hello, Snackers. My name is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hi, everyone. Matt DiNapoli here. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco Developer Relations. Welcome to episode 102 of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly bite of coding, learning, and just some cool stuff we think you might want to know. And the thing that we think you might want to know today is uh, Dev Associate with our guest and my friend, George Cookies. George, do you mind introducing yourself, please? Hi, guys. Good morning, good afternoon. Thank you very, very much for, for having me here. Um, it's a pleasure. Uh, my name is George Cookies, uh, and I lead the development and maintenance of the DevNet Automation Wireless Exams. Oh, that's fantastic, George. So people who are going to be taking um, any exam within the Cisco certification space, um, they need to understand the fact that we have these things called blueprints. Can you explain what a blueprint is and maybe how to navigate those? Sure, definitely. So blueprint is a, is a group of topics uh, separated into domains uh, and tasks, which actually explain what will be tested uh, within the exam. I would say that the blueprint for each exam is something super, super important, and the candidates who actually prepare for the exams should treat the, the blueprints as their Bible. And I say as their Bible because, as mentioned before, it contains uh, all the bits and pieces and all the details that somebody needs to know in order to prepare to, uh, for the exam, for the certification. So just like anything, uh, the blueprints are super important and knowing how to read these the, the blueprints, especially if you're getting started with a specific certification that you're after, um, is something that we should be talking about. So I think you have kind of like this, this guided um, journey on keywords and, and you know, uh, depth of learning that you want to cover with us here today, just to give our snackers an idea on how to actually read the, the blueprints. And they're not just topics that we throw at you. Before going to the keywords and before going to how to read the blueprint, the thing I want to touch base is what type of questions you expect to see on, on the exam. This is the most common question that I hear from candidates. Um, what type of questions I expect to see on the exam? Because as you can understand, somebody who hasn't taken a Cisco exam before um, is a little bit curious and a little bit uh, uncomfortable with uh, the type of questions. So at this specific point within within the Cisco certifications, we have uh, three group, groups of questions, multiple choice, uh, pick ones or pick twos, uh, drag and drops. It might be uh, a simple drag and drop where you take something from the left and you place it uh, on something on the right or on a group on the right, or even graphical drag and drop, where we present a piece of code, something is missing, and we ask the candidates to drag and drop um, the code snippets or the state statements from the bottom onto the code to complete or execute X, Y, Z. And we also have another uh, type or group of questions which are filling the blanks. Um, I don't want to go deep on fill in the blanks because it's something, it's a group of questions which we move away. Yeah, George, it's really interesting. It's really interesting to kind of hear a peek behind the curtain on how we have to worry about uh, how we ask the questions to actually test knowledge, um, understanding for test takers. I mean, it's been a while it's since true. we've taken tests no, it's not true. on a consistent basis. I try, I try to test that to school. I uh, oh, oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't taken one in a while. Uh, but we understand that there's, um, you know, how we test knowledge sometimes is, is a bit challenging for, um, you know, multiple choice questions. Uh, you can you can answer them by eliminating ones you know aren't right. But right. sometimes with things like drag and drop or or I know you mentioned fill in the blank isn't something we're using. But those kinds of things you are really have to know what you're talking about um, to get that stuff in order. And so um, can you help us understand, George, when we look at the blueprints and these keywords, how do they kind of tie into how we can expect to prepare as test takers for these exams? Um, so when you go through the blueprint, uh, you will see that um, there are some specific words in the beginning of each task. As you can see in this specific slide, um, let me go a little bit deeper on that. Um, 4.0 uh, is uh, the domain where it explains what will be uh, covered in this specific uh, section. And then we go 
uh, as an example, 4.2, 4.1, 4.2, where we have the tasks, which is uh, a closer look of the topics that will be covered. The thing I've actually done in this specific example, which is from the Demner Associate Blueprint, uh, I circled uh, the first verb of each task. Describe, identify, you might see implement, configure, explain. So these specific verbs, the first verb on each task sets the tone, sets the difficulty. Um, there is something that we use within Cisco, um, and this is exactly the same, not only for the DevDA certifications, but across all the certifications that we developed, uh, is something, um, uh, it, we use something called cognitive complexity. Cognitive complexity is something which is used um, within the educational sector, um, and it's a way to set the difficulty or the depth of knowledge that somebody needs um, for specific topics using verbs. And just to give you an example, I created this specific slide that shows uh, the depth of knowledge for each verb. This is specific to Denner Associate, but as mentioned before, you can take this and apply it across all the Cisco certifications. Yeah, it's really important, uh, Snappers, to, to focus while you're reading on, you're checking out these blueprints, whether you're doing the DevNet Associate or the CCNA or even like the, you know, CCIE and labs yeah. and the, the harder exams, um, they, um, or I should say the more advanced exams, they, the verbs help you because like, like George said, uh, they tend to give you depth of knowledge. So, you know, for instance, George has here on, on the screen is describe and explain um, the topics that we, on the blueprint that tells you describe and explain are not going to be as difficult or as, as detailed of questions as something that you are asked to troubleshoot or to, for instance, uh, construct. So um, pay attention to these verbs. They help you study and they help guide you through the massive blueprints that we, you know, that you need to know in order to accomplish these certifications. Um, but I think the, the, it's also, it's also the guide. So you have the blueprints as, as a guide. What we also have for you, and this is something that um, we've been talking to you about for a while, is um, the certification training that we provide on Cisco U. So um, you should be able to head over to u.cisco.com um, or get on the early access list at this point and, and, and get access to Cisco U where you can see these the, the blueprints that we have out there for you correspond to these learning path that we provide you in Cisco U. So you get to see what you're going to learn and then you actually get the learning content within Cisco U as part of it, um, as well as hands-on labs. So um, check that out uh, while, you're, while you're viewing this episode here. So we provide, it sounds like we provide everything you need to do to prepare for these exams. Um, George, unfortunately, we are, are out of time today. And since this is your first time joining us, we do have to ask you this one very, very important question. Uh, what superpower would you choose to have and why? I would pick uh, never get old. <laughs> and I'm saying this because uh, uh, tomorrow is my birthday. I think that's a new one. And I'm yeah, having yeah. A, a better age crisis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, At least you're honest. <laughs> so, I, I'm honest. I'm honest. So, um, I would pick uh, never get old and having the time to enjoy life, learn new things, uh, and improve myself, enjoy my family as much as possible. All right, George. Thank you for the time here. Uh, snackers. Uh, check out the, the blueprints available for whatever exam you're interested in and take these things to note. Pay attention to the verbs. Uh, join us next week on another exciting episode of Snack Minute. Thank you, Snackers. George, thank you. Thank you, guys.